See, nobody's told you why AI taking over your jobs is a good thing, but I have 10 reasons why it's actually a great thing, guys. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to show you how to harness AI to uh, leverage instead of suffer from the workforce that you've been trapped in for the past 20 to 40 years. OK, so instead of fearing AI, I'm going to give you 10 reasons why it's a good thing that is about to take your jobs. Now, watch this. All right. So uh, the number one reason is opportunity for uh, personal growth. AI replacing routine jobs will push nine to five workers to pursue new skills and careers in industries with higher growth potential. Now, check this out. If you've been working at McDonald's or some type of warehouse job, you're going to be the first to go. So what do I mean by that? Have you guys saw the videos with the machines uh, flipping the burgers like <laughs> They already have burger flipping uh, robots and that they're rolling out in some of the uh, restaurants right now. When me and my wife was at the Chinese food place the other day, they had some robot ride up on us and deliver our food to us. Like it's literally already here. So for the more simplistic jobs and stuff like that, those are going to be the first ones to go forklifts. All of that stuff, robots can do that stuff. So the good thing about it is it's going to force you guys to be creative and figure out how to use your brain to bring in income versus your muscles. And that's where you start to increase your income because it takes you to another level. You get to see uh, where your real gifts lay at, right? Where you stand in the market, all right? So number two, transition to more flexible work. It says... Uh, with AI automating traditional jobs, workers uh, will have the opportunity to engage in more flexible gig based work or remote jobs. Now, this is real talk. So you guys already see it in the coding industry. So a lot of you guys are like, well, I don't know how to code. Well, guess what? There are boot camps for that. There are courses online for that. Right. <clears throat> Even though AI We'll be taking over a lot of the manual jobs, guys, just like with the machinery that we've had for the past 50 years. There's always had to be humans to program these. There's always had to be humans to do maintenance on them that <laughs> until they become self-aware. You know, they're not going to be able to, like, do maintenance on themselves in a way that a human can do it or program themselves. Now, was, there's machine learning for anybody to start trying to attack me. I understand that there's machine learning out there, but it's going to be at least another good 15 to 20 years before these machines uh, <laughs> are capable of nursing themselves back to health. OK, so that gives you guys higher paying job opportunities. So don't hate it. All right. Embrace it. Now, higher job satisfaction is number three. OK, many nine to five workers are stuck in repetitive or mundane tasks. You're like the robot right now. Think about it. You're working at some type of assembly line job and you just get up there and you stand in one position for 10 to 12 hours. You just move a box here, move a box here, package a uh, cake or something like that and move it up the line and like a freaking robot already. Don't you want to break out of that crap? Don't you want to do something creative to make money? Right. OK, so like AI is going to take those jobs first, guys, but it's going to force you. So if you're paying attention right now, do it before it happens. Do it before they throw the curveball, because it's going to be a day. Um, if you guys haven't watched the subservience uh, movie with Megan Fox in it, you know, you perverts, right? <laughs> That's a good movie to watch to kind of get a feel for the type of jobs that they're going to be taking. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you, you'll get a good feel for like, damn, OK, I already work this type of job. I do construction and this and that. And these are the type of things that, uh, you know, robots and AI can do better than me. Ooh, what can I do? Right. So how do you level up on the AI? See, AI is leveling up, but humans control it right now. So guess what? That gives you the opportunity to level up on the AI itself. Like, OK, um, the AI isn't capable of running this for itself. So that opens a new job opportunity for someone that can learn how to run this to keep the AI running. You see what I'm saying? OK, so now <clears throat> 
for those of you who are uh, lazy and government dependent, it's also going to open up another opportunity. <laughs> so what do I mean by that? Okay. Universal basic income. They've been talking about this a long time. I think over there in the UK and maybe even Australia, they already have this or something. All right. So if governments or companies introduce uh, universal basic income as a response to AI driven job replace uh, displacement, workers could receive a steady income uh, without the need for traditional nine to five jobs. So it's kind of like what we have now where you guys make fun of the, uh, you know, people on welfare or uh, they get EBT or SNAP benefits or something like that. Like if they end up having to like replace you guys, then they'll just like start sending you monthly income. So some of you guys might even like that. Maybe you can use this extra income to start building a business like you should be doing right now any damn way. OK, so <clears throat> it could allow you to explore, uh, explore passion projects and start new income streams. So more time for skill development. Some of you guys have been wanting to go back to school anyway or uh, learn some type of trade or something. Right. So now, you know, like at first you're like, man, you're telling all your friends, I'm about to start learning how to do this or do that. Or I always wanted to uh, become this or that. Now you have this extra time uh, to do that. Right. <clears throat> Reduce job stress. Many nine to five jobs um, come with high levels of stress. Yes, it do. <laughs> Why you think I quit and started businesses? Okay. They come with burnout and long hours. AI taking over these roles, uh, mean workers could experience less mental and physical strain, reducing stress related health issues. For those of you who believe stress is just a mental issue, you know what I'm saying, and can only break you down in the mind, which is crazy enough, it can also break your body down. Yes. Okay. Incre increased entrepreneurship opportunities. As automation takes over the traditional work, uh, nine to five employees could use their newfound time and resources to explore entrepreneurial ventures, side hustles, or freelance opportunities creating financial independence. It's going to be a long time before the world looks like Terminator 3 <laughs> or, or before it looks like, um, let's see, what, what's another one? Of them? We got Terminator 3 or Ready Player 1 and all of that extra stuff. Eventually, it's going to get there if they don't stop creating these iRobots with Elon Musk and all of that. So eventually, it's going to get there but maybe not in this generation. But the point is, if you can jump ahead of the curve and, and, and you can get your family right, you know, get your expenses right, get your inheritances lined up, if you stop being afraid of it and start figuring out how you can leverage it before it takes over, okay? Now, the ones that are gonna win are the ones that are like, hmm, this is cool. How can I make money from this instead of running from it? Okay, so now focus on human-centered roles. This is number eight. Jobs that require human qualities like empathy, creativity, and problem solver will be in higher demand as AI takes over routine work. Now, that's true because even though there's some scary AI out here, um, when it comes to like, like they're based off of calculation and numbers and probabilities, right? So like... <laughs> If you put them in a situation where somebody has a life expectancy, you saw it in the, um, the iRobot movie, like uh, he was pissed off and hated the robots because they saved him over saving a little girl just because his life expectancy was 50% uh, and the little girl's was 11% or something like that. A human still would have tried to like go after the little girl and save her life because we'll be thinking, well, you know, he's a grown man. You know, he's lived his, you know, he's lived a life, longer life than her. You know what I'm saying? So let's give the kid a chance and hopefully he can hold his breath and we'll come back down here for him or something. Right. That's how a, a human mind would think. But a robot an AI would say, mm, we're going to go with the one with the higher probability of living. You know what I'm saying? So they're built off of uh, efficiency. Right. So, of course, by the numbers, it seemed logical to go ahead and save the uh, the, 
the one with the 50 percent. So this is why these type of jobs will be in higher demand, because since AI will be everywhere, we need proper judgment <laughs> uh, or the world is going to become way colder than it already is. OK. All right. Now, potential for shorter weeks, AI driven productivity improvements could reduce the need for a standard for 40 hour work week. <clears throat> Many countries are already experienced uh, experimenting with the four day work weeks, allowing workers to enjoy more uh, leisure time and healthier work life balance. Damn, I wish they had this going back when I had a nine to five job. So in some countries, they only work four days a week. Ain't that crazy? They only work four days a week. I'm in Panama. I don't really know how they do things here because I don't pay attention to, to that. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. All right. Job sharing and collaborative work models. As AI reduces the need for human labor in certain tasks, companies may implement job sharing models where two or more workers split a role, enabling greater work uh, flexibility and reducing the pressure of full time em uh, employment. So that's that's pretty awesome. Right. Two, two heads are better than one. Pause. Right. So, guys, I just wanted to throw out there a couple reasons why you shouldn't fear AI taking over your jobs. You know, if you can be creative, uh, adapt or jump ahead of the curve, then this can be a good thing. Probably the best thing that's ever happened to you before. All right. Make moves.